The history of wind power is littered with valiant attempts at innovation, some of which soared to success, while others tumbled from the sky like Icarus. Today, we take a look at five wind energy innovations that, despite their ingenuity, failed to achieve commercial liftoff. Tire Wind, a Tunisian startup dedicated to wind energy research, introduced an innovative wind converter inspired by the flutter of hummingbirds. Anis Awini, the inventor and co-founder of Tire Wind, drew inspiration from nature, specifically the hummingbird, to create a technology that mimics the motion of their wings, resulting in a compact, silent, and efficient design, unlike conventional wind turbines. Operating by capturing wind energy through its unique wing-like structure, the wind converter is much smaller and quieter, suitable for residential areas, aiming to revolutionize wind energy generation through biomimicry. Despite its promise, Tire Wind faced several challenges, including commercial viability, resistance to change within the cleantech industry, and competition with fossil fuels, ultimately leading to its discontinuation. However, its legacy lives on as a testament to the power of biomimicry, inspiring other startups to explore non-conventional wind technologies as eco-friendly alternatives to fossil fuels. The Aero Generator, a pioneering wind turbine design once hailed as a potential game-changer in offshore wind power, boasted ambitious features and faced formidable challenges, ultimately leading to its discontinuation. As a vertical axis wind turbine, distinct from the more common horizontal axis wind turbines, the aero generator stood impressively at 144 meters, approximately 472 feet, tall, with a V-shaped structure aiming to generate up to 9 megawatts of electricity, about three times more than conventional turbines of similar size. Unlike horizontal axis wind turbines, which necessitate mechanisms to constantly face into the wind. Vertical axis wind turbine like the Aero Generator can capture wind from any direction, enhancing efficiency. It was part of a family of vertical axis wind turbine seeking to overcome limitations of traditional designs. The Aero Generator, an adaptation of the Darius wind turbine, resembling an egg whisk, boasted the capability to construct massive turbines addressing instability issues faced by Darius turbines at greater heights. Traditional horizontal axis wind turbines encounter reduced efficiency as they increase in height due to blade weight and engineering complexities. But the Aero Generator team claimed to have resolved these challenges, enabling the construction of larger, more robust structures. However, despite its potential, the Aero Generator encountered significant hurdles including cost, complexity, and engineering challenges associated with building and maintaining such colossal turbines. Additionally, despite showing promise, the technology failed to garner widespread interest and investment. Consequently, the Aero Generator project gradually faded away, and the technology did not emerge as a mainstream solution for offshore wind energy. Makani Power a subsidiary with a revolutionary vision for wind energy embarked on a journey fraught with both promise and challenges. Founded in 2006, Makani set out with the ambitious goal of creating an airborne wind turbine capable of harnessing wind energy more efficiently. Departing from traditional wind turbines fixed to the ground, Makani proposed a concept involving flying kites to capture wind energy at high altitudes, aiming to reduce 90% of the mass associated with conventional turbines and access stronger, more consistent winds at heights near 1,000 feet. This innovative approach promised to expand the reach of viable wind resources to 85% of the country, compared to the limited 15% accessible with existing technology. Makani made significant technical progress exemplified by the development of their energy kite prototype, the M600. Equipped with eight brushless motors and capable of producing 600 kilowatts of power. However, despite these advancements, the journey towards commercialization proved longer and riskier than anticipated. In 2013, Alphabet, Google's parent company, acquired Makani, 
providing the project with credibility and resources and propelling it to the forefront of the airborne wind energy market. Yet, in February 2020, Alphabet abruptly shut down Makani, citing the formidable challenges of achieving commercial viability. This decision sent shockwaves through the industry, underscoring the complexity of airborne wind technology, even for a financial giant like Alphabet. In summary, while Makani Power's vision was groundbreaking, the formidable challenges of bringing airborne wind turbines to market ultimately led to its discontinuation. Shearwind, headquartered in Minnesota, garnered attention with its innovative Involox wind turbine, boasting a bladeless design promising significantly enhanced power generation compared to traditional turbines. Despite initial enthusiasm surrounding the technology, it ultimately fell short of achieving widespread commercial success. The Invelox turbine featured a distinctive funnel-like structure designed to concentrate wind flow towards ground-level turbines, potentially increasing wind speed and power output while offering easier maintenance and reduced costs. Shearwind's claims included a 600% energy increase over traditional turbines of similar size, installation costs below $750 per kilo others, and environmental benefits such as reduced bird collisions and quieter operation. However, challenges emerged that hindered its adoption, including inconsistent independent testing results regarding performance, difficulties in scaling the design for larger units, concerns over initial capital investment despite promised cost reductions, and project delays and controversies that eroded confidence. While the Involoc concept presented a promising wind energy solution, its inability to overcome technical, performance, and economic obstacles underscored the complexity of bringing innovative ideas to fruition in the competitive energy market. Ampix Power was a Dutch renewable energy startup that aimed to generate wind energy using an airborne vehicle. The company was founded in 2008 and had over 60 employees. However, Ampix Power filed for bankruptcy in May 2022 after failing to find investors to support its technology. Ampix Power's technology involved using an air taxi prototype called the AP3 to fly autonomously and generate power. The AP3 was tethered to the ground and could generate 42 kN of pull. The company planned to demonstrate the technology in Spain, but it never achieved commercial launch. There are several reasons why Ampix Power failed to launch commercially. First, the company struggled to raise funding. It only raised $50 million, while the technology was estimated to cost $500 million to develop. Second, the technology was complex and unproven. While Ampix Power built a demonstrator that showed the basic concept was feasible, the company was unable to prove that its technology could generate renewable energy that could be fed to the grid. Third, the company may have been ahead of its time. The technology was novel, and there may not have been a market for it yet. Hope you find this informational. Feel free to share the video, like the video, and subscribe if you have not already done so. Thank you for watching.